We are at the Circuit the Spa Frank or Champ for the fourth race of season one of the SCR Sports Car World Sports Car Championship. The number 22 of Blaze Zebatar will lead us to the green flag. Start beside him is the 034 of Todd Hayden. Rest of the starting lineup here for today's race. All 34 drivers posted a time in qualifying. Entering this race, Kyle Pesto, who will be starting in the eighth spot, has a two point lead over Tyler Kentman. Tyler will be rolling off in the fourth spot. This is the second race in a row that we will be doing the 24 hour. Uh, distance, basically 24 laps. In the inaugural race at Sebring, Angel Gutierrez won that event. At Monza, it was Tyler Kempman getting the win and the championship points lead. And when in the last round at, at uh, Le Mans, it was Kane King who won for the first time in his career. So we have had three races in a row where we had a first time winner. Will that streak continue? We shall find out. Of course, this is the classic spa that was ran from 1957 to 1978. This is the closest version to 1955. It is, once again, another eight-mile road course. And now, for those most famous words in motorsports. Drivers, start your engines! The field is rolling off as we begin our low pay. Oh, we got a car that has stalled. That is the 011 of Bradley Keller. Looks like brake failure. Horrible luck. That means the other drivers will, of course, move up a spot. And looks like, yep, the caution is out. So we will have a delayed start. What a way to start this race. Last round at Le Mans. We did not even have a quarter of the field finish the race. That's how much of an endurance race that was. And like I said before, for the second race in a row, it'll be 24 laps. Now this will set a wrinkle in terms of these drivers' uh, pitch strategy and whatnot because the 11 car has stalled. That will mean we will have an extra lap of caution before this race actually starts. So that means you have to put an additional eight miles onto your fuel and your tires. Of course, as we saw in the last round, at Le Mans, Kane King went for the first three uh, cautions going on one set of tires, and he pitted on lap number 19, and he went the rest of the way. Of course, the race did under, end under caution, and he had a 30-second lead, and this is a different track, but will that same strategy apply here today? Of course, Blaze is starting up front. Ferrari is yet to win here in the World Sports Car Championship. Porsche has visited Victory Lane, but not Ferrari. Of course, the Ferrari contingent is Blazy Vitar, as well as the number 23. There he is, Rock Fang Timber. Rock Fang is making only his fourth career start here in the SCRL. Now, just like with other races this season, first place will be awarded 20 points, and the point system will go all the way down to 20th, who will receive one point. So only drivers that finish 1 through 20 will get points. So far, every driver this season has scored at least one point, except for one driver. 
That being, ironically enough, the number six car of Amber Mayhew. She has yet to score a point. As you see, the 011 Bradley Kelly still on pit road. Bradley will receive the last car award for this race if they do not get back out on track. This is the first time here in series history that we are using the old classic spa layout. So I've never used this version before. And oh, it looks like, yep, the lights are out on the pace car, so we will be going green this time. 24 laps. Will the streak continue of first time winners? A Roy veteran visit Victory Lane for the first time here in the World Sports Car Championship. Still a little ways to go before we get to the front stretch. Slap. Just like with at Le Mans, it took three minutes on average to complete a lap under green. Under caution, of course, it's going to take much longer. You see Bradley still in pit road. Just slowly waiting for the field to make their way back to the front stretch and we can finally get this race underway. We've had one driver already suffer brake failure at the start. And we have already been here for 11 minutes now. We have not yet even started the race. But I can see there, you see the uh, grandstands, they are approaching the final few turns, and we will get this race underway. There you see the flagman, the signal to pit road. around this final turn. Reach up there and pull the belts tight one more time. We are racing 24 laps here at Circuit the Spa Francourt Champ. Blazy Retard leads us to green. Down the long front stretch. Into turn number one. Into turn number two, Todd Hayden will pass him. Going out turn number two. So Ferrari immediately loses the lead. Battle for second place. Here comes 96 and Brandon Mayhew. He's going to try to take second place. Can he complete the pass, though? Not yet. Still side by side. Blaze pulls away just a little bit. But Brandon will have the preferred line as he's being pushed by the 36 car. And he will be the preferred turn of this run. Turn. There we go. Still being pushed by the 96. 
plays is stuck on the outside line. And move to 96, Brady Mayhew into second place. But here comes the 36 car. Our Tyler Kipman, our points leader, trying to get two wins for Porsche. Into the S's. They sweep. Brady Mayhew continues to battle. Tyler Kipman. As Todd Hayden is just enjoying this, he's pulling away. They just swerve. Here comes the 11 car. Eric Monaco looking for his first win. One turn in under Brendan Mayhew. Trying to get under him. He's trying, just trying to clear. Todd Hayden is just enjoying this because he's being able to pull away as these cars battle for second place. As you get a great look at the trees. Still battling for second place. And you see the Ferrari has dropped outside the top five, so not a good start for them. Of course, it doesn't matter how you start the race, it matters how you finish it. Brandon Mayhew has assumed second place. But here comes the number 11 of Eric Monaco. Trying to get under Brandon. Oh, we got a car off the track. That was the number seven of Rodney Neal. No harm there, he's still going. Todd Hayden leading off the final turn. And Todd will lead lap number one. And he's got a full three seconds on second place. That's how much of a lead he already has. Blaze has dropped back to the 10th position. That's how bad of a start he got. And he might lose another spot to the 174 of James Ellison. Nope. Bad for position. Here comes Mitchell Haddock trying to pass the number 52 of Kyle Pesto. Kyle, of course, is in second. Uh, is currently the point slitter by two of our Tyler Kipman. But Tyler right now is currently in front of Kyle. So naturally. Tyler Wood assumed the race championship points lead. Continuing the battle for the top three. Brandon Mayhew continuing to hold it. The challenge by the 25 of Kane King. Trying to become the first driver to win back-to-back -back races here in the sports car championship. But it's all happening behind Todd Hayden, who has no challenge. Three seconds and the lead in one lap. That's how good of a jump he had. Battle for second place. Kane King trying to pass on the outside. Not typically the way you do it, but he's going to try and make it work. Still trying, and Kane King will. Take over second place. Oh, he goes wide. Oh, he almost hit the wall. That was close. That was close. Take a look at the other cars and drivers. The battle for the final spot is currently held by the number 74 of Andrew Baker. So Andrew at least will receive one point as of right now when they are running that as long as he doesn't go off track. So move Kane King into second place. Can he cut down the 3.6 second lead of Todd Hayden? A 
And there you see the 11 car is still on pit 011. Oh, we got a car that is mowing the grass again, or gravel. You see Kristen Russell is currently trailing the field by a pretty big margin. We don't know what happened to him. He probably went off track. There is no caution. So Todd Hagen leads yet another lap. Let's see what the margin is now. What's 3.6? 5.8. He gained two seconds. Oh, we got a caution. Number 25 of Kane King, second in, po second in the race. What happened? Oh, we got the 20, 0 24. The 42. We must have had, yeah, we had a crash somewhere. But we did not get the caution, so we are racing it back. Todd Hayden's lead, 5.8. It's going to evaporate. And Kane King's shot of winning back-to-back -back races just took a big hit. So this is good for all the drivers, especially the Ferrari of Blaze Ibertar, who fell from 1st to 13th on the starts. Have to see if he can rebound. You see the Porsche of Tyler Kipman. He's trying to gain another spot. Past the 24 car. He will. There you see Kyle Pesho. Currently running in the ninth spot. So Kyle is currently behind Tyler. And we have a battle for second place. Here comes the 11 car, Eric Monaco. He will take it over. Driving into the S's. They just sling those cars. Once again, here comes the 88 of Colin Cropley. He had a good showing at Le Mans, just made a driver's error. Smacked the wall, could have been a top five finish. It did not turn out that way. Trying to go for third place, being pushed by the 36 car. Move Cropley into third. Todd Hayden just riding around. No challenge, he needs to keep it on track. And drive it back to the start finish line. And we'll have to see if these drivers make any pit stops. Off the final turn. Todd Hayden. Will lead us to the caution flag. There it is. And you see the 011 car, Bradley Kelly, is going to be back out on the track, so that's good for him. Well, Todd Hayden is our race leader. We'll take a look and see about the first caution of the day. So here's the cause of caution. Kane King running in second place, trying to go for his second win in a row. He enters the final turn. And let's see. Does he slide off the track? No. Oh, what the? Uh... I'm not sure what Kane was going for there. I don't know if he had a mechanical problem or anything. No, he did not. But he just goes too wide. He turns in, but he misjudges, and he nails the entrance to pit road. Very weird. Oh, and oh, that's what happened back here. Let's see, the 33 car, Noah Cars. That's the jam up. He's, let's see, oh, the 40, 42, Arthur didn't know where to go. He just ran into the back of the 33. 39 got damage right there. Yeah, almost tips over the 33. The 23 gets damage, and up. Oh, don't tell me the 24 is going to be the exact same thing, is he? Yep, he did the same thing, and oh, my God, no, cars. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, excuse me, Arthur didn't. Uh... Yeah, that was 
something else. Uh, it'll take a little while to clean up this mess, and once we do, we'll take you back to the restart. During the caution flag, we had another unique thing happen. We had cars stalling, and then other cars running to the back of each other. The seven car almost flipped over. The Rodney Neal. He had... Jeez. Oh, yeah, some of these old tracks are very broken. You see cars stacking up, and... Yeah. It is what it is. And whoop, we got the seven we got the seventy four Andrew Baker flips over. And is he gonna land back on all four wheels? Yes he does. Well, now we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. Todd Hayden is still our race leader. Second is Eric Monaco. Third is Colin Cropley. Fourth is Nick Holiday. Fifth is Tyler Kipman. Sixth is Mitchell Haddock. Seventh is Brandon Mayhew. Eighth is Kyle Pesto. Ninth is Boots McCall. And tenth is Sebastian Torres. Of course, we had some driver. We had all the drivers uh, pit. That's why some drivers are like fifth. Nick Holiday gained some spots. You got some drivers up. Oh, 39 car Jacob Kipman is back out on track now. 34, Aiden McAllister is still on pit row. The 2, the zero 2, the 60, the 1, the zero 11 is three laps down. You see the 23, Rock Frank Timbers out of the race, zero 24, the 25, and the 42. So Kane King will not win back-to-back 24-hour -back races. We will have 19 laps to go when the field gets the green to go back to racing. Todd Hayden has tough challengers behind him. Eric Monica looking for his first win. Colin Cropley looking for his first win. Nick Holliday looking for his first win in a while. Tyler Kentman looking for his second win this season for Porsche. So there's so many variables that could happen on this restart. Todd Hayden needs to have the best restart of his short and young career. He was able to take the lead on the first turn from Blaze. And he built up a five-second lead before the caution came out. Can he do it one more time? For all we know, this could have been the only caution of the day. So you got to make your moves as fast as possible, as if it were the only caution. Because you don't know if you're going to get another chance. You still see other cars on pit road, the 02, Kristen Russell, Brian Fox. It's not been their seasons. Especially Blaze. Look, he's way back here in the back of the pack. Started on the Paul didn't lead, even lead past turn one. Then you got Todd Hayden who capitalized. He's our new race leader and has led every lap so far. Kane King in the last round at Lamar led 19 of the 24 laps. Todd Hayden is trying to lead every single lap. And what a way it would be for Todd to get his first win. Pace car is going to pull in. There he goes. Reach up there and pull the bounce tight one more time. We are going back to green. We have 19 laps to go. There's a green flag. Off into turn number one. Eric Monaco is going to take a peek. He's trying to go on the outside now. Not sure that's the way you want to do it. He's going to try and get the run. Coming into this right-hander. Still single file. He's going to try and peek. Nope. Colin Cropley leaving. The outside open for Nick Holiday. This is going to be a left-hander. And then we'll have a right-hander, so this is going to go against Holiday. Bad for position. Here comes the two-car. Mitchell Haddock trying to go around Tyler Kittman. 
to Nick Holiday. He wants to get around Cropley. He's trying, battle for the lead. Eric Monaco, he's trying. You see Holiday just slides it into that turn. the drivers on the track. You see Eric Monaco making a peek. The guy left-hander. Monaco completes the pass. Can he maintain it though? Here comes Mitchell Haddock and Colin Cropley. Cropley Decides to go under. Oh, oh my God. Holy Moses. Oh my God. <laughs> that just came out. I'm sorry. That just came out of nowhere as Tyler Kipman, our points leader. And oh. <laughs> and drivers just decide to destroy their cars. <laughs> I'm sorry. That just came out of nowhere. That caught me off guard. Uh, Mitchell Haddock is now our race leader. <laughs> Brandon Mayhew is now in second place. Third is Sebastian Torres, of all people. And then you got James Ellison. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. Uh, Kyle Pestro, uh, our points leader. He's trying to limit back to the pits. We are under caution, of course, after that massive... Massive uh, cr uh, crash, taking out a majority of the leaders as we head into the final turn. <sighs> It'll be Mitchell Haddock leading them to the caution flag, and there it is. Well, the field will catch back up. We'll take a look and see what out the second caution of the day. So here's the cause of caution. Leader Eric Monaco. He enters this turn going 214 miles an hour, 215 actually. And he's going to make a very fatal mistake. You see the wheels spinning, and he's going to come up to this wall and head on, destroys his car. Todd Hayden, nowhere to go. Colin Cropley. <sighs> oh, my God. You know, ironically enough, there are no rookie stripes on these cars, but there's a reason why the yellow stripe is yellow. Eric Monaco just made a very tragic rookie mistake. <laughs> We're going to go on board with him. He just goes too wide into the turn, and he misjudges, and head on, and this is going to be a big hit. Oh, my God. Eric Monaco, he... Did the right move. He took the lead, but he just made a rookie mistake. And he goes for a wild ride, but that's not it. Colin Cropley, Todd Hayden, nowhere to go. Whoops, sorry, I did, did that too fast. You see the crash. Mitchell Haddock, he made the right choice. He was on the inside, but Todd Hayden and Colin Cropley, nowhere to go. Oh, my God. Cropley destroyed the 24. Nick Holiday got damaged. The 96 Brandon Mayhew was able to pass with no damage. The 52 got damaged, of course. The 89. And this was not it, was it? I believe we had more. Did we have more? Oh, yeah. Andrew Baker got damaged. The 8, the 11, the 37, the 0, 11, the 37 again, the 26. Was able to avoid all this. And it is a crash fest. And you see, yep, there they are. They decide to destroy the cars right there. Yep, we. Right, Spurly Tube. He actually avoids the first crash, but he makes a veteran mistake. 
He tries to pass on the outside while there's a wall there and just destroys his car back out into the traffic. 42 got damaged. And then you have the 9 coming in. Angel Gutierrez, our Sebring race winner. He destroys his car as well. Then the 87, Doc Smith. Then you got the 26, Tyler Shellman. Just <sighs> millions of dollars just destroyed here at Spa. This will take a while to clean up. Once we do, we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. The 24 of Nick Holiday is out of the race, as well as the 52, the 034, the 11, the 05, and the 9. Mitchell Haddock is our race leader. Second is Brandon Mayhew. Third is Sebastian Torres. Fourth, James Ellison. Fifth is Blaze Zipatar. Sixth is Jacob Kentman. Seventh is Brian. Well, seventh is Bruce McCall. Eighth is Tyler Kentman. Ninth would be Zachary Fitzwater. And tenth would be Doc Smith. We have some lap cars in between the lap, the lead lap drivers. <sighs> yeah. It's going to be another one of those endurance races. Mitchell Haddock, as we saw, he assumed the race lead when Eric Monaco crashed into the wall, taking out Todd Hayden. Colin Cropley, who had nowhere to go. Cropley, once again, will get another DNF in his sports car career, still winless after four tries. Cropley, he had a good showing in Lamar. He just made a rookie mistake. Today, Cropley, he had nowhere to go. So, you can't blame that on Cropley. You kind of got to put the blame on Eric Monaco. He, he is a rookie, but he should have known better than to go that fast and wide into that turn. Still a long way to go in this race. Mitchell Haddock looking for his first win. Brandon Mayhew looking for his first win in this series. Sebastian Torres, we know his history. He's won so many times, so many championships. Still looking for that first win here at the Elusive Sports Car Championship. Then James Ellison, the rookie. Looking for his first win as well. Now, of course, you got Blaze Zibitar, who started on the pole, did not even lead the first turn, fell back, fought his way back up, was able to avoid the crash. Still, so much could happen, and we are only eight laps into this 24 hour or 24 lap event. Sixteen laps to go. As we are approaching the front stretch, we will get this race back underway. Pace car pulls in. There he goes. Mitchell Haddock is going looking for a great restart. Brandon May is going to be right on his back bumper. We're back to racing here at Spa. You see Sebastian Torres, he's already ready to go for second. But he leaves the inside open, now outside. Now inside. Torres will be passed by the 174, James Ellison, who is ready to go. Sebastian gets a good run off that turn, but Ellison's going to have the preferred line right here. Brandon Mayhew trying to chase down Mitchell Haddock. Sebastian Torres has the preferred line right here, but he will not right here. And Torres is going to try and get in front of the 174. Does he have enough steam? Yes, he does. So Sebastian Torres back to third. Mitchell Haddock being currently chased by Brandon Mayhew as they drive through the S's. down this long back stretch. There you see the only Ferrari in the top 10 right now, Blaze. Currently losing some positions. Rockfang Timber is currently out of the race, so there's only one Ferrari left.
We head down this street. Oh, we got go oh, god. We got Blaze and we got James Ellison. They just crashed off the track. Oh, there goes the other Ferrari's chances. And this is the trouble turn last time. Looks like they were able to make it. Oh god. They almost didn't make it. So we had cars spin it up. Oh, we got we got Zachary Fitzwater. Oh god, Fitzwater almost tipped over. <laughs> but Fitzwater's still going. Somehow in his Porsche. There is no caution, surprisingly, despite that crash. So we are still green. And we got someone mowing the gravel again. Or the dirt, excuse me. Looks like the 26, Tyler Shellman. Back for position, here comes the 34 car. Well, he's a lap down, sorry. Back for position, Mitchell Haddock continues to hold the race lead. Brandon Mayhew has it for second. And Sebastian Torres, he's closing in on our leaders. And we will come to the final turn. Hard on the brakes, trying not to hit the pit road wall just like we had drivers doing it earlier. And Mitchell Haddock will lead us to our first official green flag lap. That took nine laps, so we finally got our first green lap. Oh, nope, I just said that, and we got caution. Oh. Well, we are racing it back. And to the asses once again. Haddock has pulled away a little bit from Mayhew and Torres. Haddock is trying not to make the same mistake Eric Monaco did. Just has to take it nice and easy through the S's. And he does. Speeds of over 200 miles an hour. And to this turn. Here it is. Are they going to be able to make it? Nope. Wrong turn. This this next turn. Can they make it through this turn? The caution is already out, so they do not have to go full throttle, but they are. Haddock goes wide. But he does avoid it. Oh, God. They get so close. Battle for the race lead. Brandon Mayhew is making the peak on the outside. Not able to get around Haddock just yet. He's got a couple more turns. Torres is interested. You have to try and make the gain now because you don't know if you'll be able to do it when you go back racing, so you got to go for it when you got the chance. Let's take a look at the trees. Haddock just has to be on defense for the next few turns. And he will lead him to the caution flag. He can see the grandstand right there. Into the final turn. Mayhew and Torres not making the move. Off the final turn. Mitchell Haddock will lead us to the caution flag. There it is. As the field catches back up, we'll take a look at see brought out the third caution of the day. So before we take a look and see what actually brought out the caution, we'll take a look and see what happened to the 22 of Blaze and the 174. 174 went wide, Blaze is going up the track. And both drivers are going to go into the house, hit the wall hard. There's not really a good camera angle. There we go. There's 174 just sliding. The 22 is sliding. And 
And yeah, both cars are completely destroyed. And Ferrari's chance of winning their first race of the season is over. Yeah. So now we will go to see what actually brought out the caution. It was shortly after the leaders took the lap right there. So let's see what happened. Up, oh, up, oh, the eight. Excuse me, the zero eight. Looks like Chris Kyle got a little too. Oh, does he get run over? Oh, yeah, he got run over by the 33 car, Noah Cars. And Kyle goes into the wall. And that brings out a caution. Well, this will be a quickie caution. Once we clean this mess up in the final turn, we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We're going to get this race restarted with exactly 12 laps to go, which means we will reach the halfway point. The 22 car and the 174 are out of the race. Yeah. So that means we will have 21 cars left in this race. 16 on the lead lap. We got two on pair row, Michael Brown and the 34 of Aiden McAllister, sitter. The two of Mitchell Haddock is our race leader. Second is Brandon Mayhew. Third is Sebastian Torres. Fourth, Tyler Kipman. Fifth. Fifth is Jacob Kipman. Sixth will be Amber Mayhew. Seventh, Tyler Shellman. Eighth, Veronica Ryan. Ninth will end Andrew Baker. And tenth will be Patrick Smith. Another endurance race, which is typical. It's 24 laps, 24 hours. Will we break the record that we did at Le Mans? Only the top 10 drivers or so finished that race. With the route we're heading, we might break it. The next time you'll be seeing the SCR World Sports Car Championship, we will be at the Nürburgring. Which, knowing that track, it'll be as hectic as this one. And Lamar. Hopefully we can at least get one green flag lap at Nürburgring, because the last time we raced there, we didn't have a single green flag race in the Formula One event. Trey Wright scored an easy win. Shout out to Trey. And yeah. We will officially reach halfway. Pay's car will make his way onto pit road. And Mitchell Haddock will once again will be looking for another great restart. And he will once again have Brandon Mayhew and Sebastian Torres right on his back bumper looking to pounce. And we are officially halfway here at Spa. Off towards turn one. We got cars going out pit road at the same time we're going green. This is going to cause problems. Who's going to capitalize? Brandon Mayhew's making the peak, but he's not going yet. Slowing down because of the 34 car. Aiden McAlsetter. And the 42 of Michael Brown back out on track. Michael Haddock, Mitchell Haddock, excuse me. Trying to get around live traffic now. He's going to try. Sebastian Torres is going to try and follow through. And Brandon Mayhew is going to lose second place due to lap traffic. Can Sebastian Torres capitalize? Here we go. 
He's trying to clear as we head to the S's. Can he make it stick? Not yet. Mitchell Haddock is still fighting on the outside. Brandon Mayhew has reclaimed third. We're coming up on the 42 car. He's going to have to get out of the way. Where do you go? And Sebastian Torres is going to be held up. It's going to allow Mitchell Haddock to take the lead back. And we are about to approach the treble turn. Can we make it with no problems? Oh, God. No, God. Oh, oh God. There it is. Oh. Brandon Mayhew, nowhere to go. The 42, Michael Brown got damaged. Jacob Kipman. And, oh, God. Everybody else is just <laughs> destroying their cars on purpose. <sighs> well, we knew that was going to happen. And that will take out a majority of the field once again. And Sebastian Torres somehow maintains second place. That took out a lot of drivers. Look at the 67. Doc Smith destroyed. Zachary Fitzwater destroyed. He's still going, but he's trying. Michael Brown came back out onto the track with the 34 car. They probably should not have sent him back out right in front of the field, and that's what clogged it up. Mitchell Haddock. Lead him into the final turn. No challenge from behind. And Mitchell Haddock will lead us once again to the caution flag. Well, we'll take a look at that big wreck that brought out yet another caution. Well, here's the caution. We knew it was coming. Mitchell Haddock, the race leader. He slides up the track just like Eric Monaco did. He comes so close to hitting the wall. He slams on the brakes. He goes down to 190 miles an hour, and he barely misses it. But Brandon Mayhew does not. Smacks the wall, destroys the left front of his car, and Sebastian Torres right behind him. He pulls to the inside, and he avoids contact. The 042, Michael Brown, also does the exact same thing. Slides up the track, and they hit that wall. The opening right there. 39 involved. The 34 is able to drive on by. The 6 is able to drive on by. Andrew Mayhew, they just lose control. They just decide to destroy their car for whatever reason. Kristen Russell. Uh-oh. Patrick Smith. He turns into the wall. Oh, my God. Whoa. Wow. So apparently there is a, the I and I, they did not fix it. Whenever someone crashes, they just drive right into it like Chris Kyle just did. The 33 is destroyed. The, yeah. <sighs> These older tracks, they are not very kind. When it comes to racing. Let's go on board with Noah Cars. Right behind this. Bam. Just uh what can you say? This is once again gonna take a while to clean up. Once we do, we'll take you back to the restart. Hopefully all these drivers will be okay. A lot of hard hits. And we are back. We have only nine drivers left out of the field of 34. Six are still on the lead lap. You got the 60 and the 021 lap down. You got the 34, that is four laps down. Drivers made pit stops during this caution, but Amber Mayhew, who's our new race leader, did not make a pit stop, as well as the 39 of Jacob Kipman. So first is Amber Mayhew, second is Jacob Kipman, third is Tyler Kipman, Fourth is Matt Mitchell Haddock. And fifth is Sebastian Torres. 
So Mitchell Haddock goes from the race leader to fifth. Amber Mayhew, who came into this race as the only driver to not score points. She is in the highest points paying position as of right now. And of course, once the field uh, gets to the start finish line, the drivers will, uh, in 13th and 14th, they will move up inside the top 10. If the 34 car can go several more laps, he will go from finishing 20th to at least 15th. So that means the 34 car of Aiden McAllsetter, he will gain at least five extra points if he can keep going. And if he can last a little bit longer, he could even get a top 10 finish, maybe even a seventh. So there's still a lot of points up for the 34 car. He just has to stay on track and not get involved in any more incidences. As of right now, Amber Mayhew looking to continue the streak of first-time winners in this series. I am not entirely sure if she's won a race or not. I don't have the results right in front of me right now. But it will be her first win in this series, at least. That will continue the trend which is currently at three. We'll get this race restarted with nine laps to go. This car pulls in, and Amber Mayhew is going to look for the best restart of her career. And we're back to racing here at Spa. Nine laps to go. You see Brian Fox and Kristen Russell have already moved inside the top ten because they passed the drivers that are out. They just have to survive now. And this is the entire field. Out of the 34 we started, we only have nine left. See Brian Fox going past the 34, excuse me, the 39 car. That would be technically for second place, but Brian Fox is one lap down. Never may he maintain in her race lead. Taking it nice and easy, Brian Fox trying to make a move. Nope. She's leaving the bottom open. Here comes Fox. She's going to bring the 36 car with, with him. Tyler Kittman, of course. Tyler won at Monza, trying to become the first driver to win twice this season. And Tyler will assume the race lead. But here comes that 44 car, Sebastian Torres. He has gone through so much this race. Avoided multiple crashes, trying to take the lead. Here we go into the trouble turn. Nope, Torres will take it on the outside. Here we go. Brian Fox is going to lead him into it. He's going to survive. He does. Oh, the six. Ever may he almost did not survive. But they all made it. And Sebastian Torres is our race leader. Second now is Mitchell Haddock. Remember, the front two drivers, they did make a pit stop. Ever Mayhew and the 39 of Jacob Kittman did not. That's why they are losing ground. 
Brian Fox pulls aside a little bit. Nope, he does not pull aside. Fox, he wants to, he's begging for a caution to come out. He just wants a caution so he can get his lap back because he's got it right now. Mitchell Haddock making the peak on the outside, which will be the inside right here. Not able to get around Sebastian Torres. You saw Tyler Kentman go off the road a little bit. That's all right. We'll be heading into the final turn. Slamming on the brakes. Oh, Tyler Kentman right into the back of Mitchell Haddock. Oh, and Ember Mayhew is done for the day. And we got a caution. <sighs> well, the only good thing about that is Brian Fox just got his lap back. Well, we'll take a look and see what brought out the caution. Here's the cause. Caution number 39 of Jacob Kipman. Kipman. As you see, the 36 ran into the back of the two. Kipman just goes a little bit wide and loses the back end of the car and spins out. At the same time, Aaron Mayhew comes to pit road and into pit road wall. <sighs> Mayhew will not score a win, but no matter what happens, she will score her first points of the season, so... It's not the way she wanted to end the race, but, yeah. Well, we'll clean this mess up, and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We only have seven cars left. Number 36, a Tyler Kipman ran, uh, is out of the race because he ran into the back of an yellow car uh, in the last caution. Sebastian Torres is our race leader. Second is Mitchell Haddock. Third is Kristen Russell. Fourth is Tyler Shellman. Fifth is Brian Fox. And sixth is Jacob Kipman. Seventh is Aiden McAlsitter. There he is. He is currently four laps down. We have six laps to go when we get this race restarted. So, if anything else happens to all these other drivers, depending on where they crash out or whatever, it is not over for the 34 car. Anything could happen, as we've seen in these first four races of the season. So it's back to Sebastian Torres against Mitchell Haddock. They have been going at it all race long. Both drivers have avoided crashes that could have took them out of this race. And now, with the last few laps to go, they are once again in first and second. And don't forget Brian Fox. He just got his lap back. And he chose to pit that time, so he's got fresh tires. So Brian Fox can still win this race, despite being a lap down. In fact, all seven drivers that we still have in this race can still technically win this race. The question is, can we make it the rest of the way without a caution? Can we make it the rest of the way without a car having a mechanical problem? Can Sebastian Torres hold on for his first win? With Tyler Kipman dropping out of the race, no matter who, no matter what happens now, we will have a first-time winner in terms of the World Sports Car Championship. Question is, will it be a first time winner or will it be a veteran going to victory lane? Sebastian Torres, multiple time winner, multiple time champion. Mitchell Haddock, never won a race. Aiden Mc McAlsitter, never won a race. Kristen Russell, multiple time race winner. Tyler Shellman, never won a race. Brian Fox, multiple time race winner, still looking for his first championship. And Jacob Kipman, never won a race. Anything could happen over the next six laps. Sebastian Torres looking to get a great restart. The pressure is on the seven drivers who will win the 24 hours of Spa. And we're back to racing with six laps to go. Seven drivers still on track. the hill, into the left-hander, into the right-hander. You see Brian Fox trying to make a move. He's got four fresh tires, so he's got to capitalize on them now. 
We have a lap car between second and third. Sebastian Tork and uh, Brian Fox made one spot. He's now going to try and pass these. Christian Russell is still one lap down, excuse me. So Fox needs to get around Russell as fast as he can. And he will. He's got fat, fresher tires. Sebastian Torres pulling away ever so slowly over Mitchell Haddock, but the race is walking over. Haddock goes a little bit wide, trying to gain some momentum. Into the S's. What used to be a 34 car field is now down to just seven. And five of those are on the lead lap. As you see, 34 car has moved inside the top 10. So again, his fight continues. Of course, he's four laps down, but still. And we will be heading toward that trouble turn that has taken out so many drivers. And Sebastian Torres navigated successfully without any problems. Here we go. Mitchell Haddock. Slides up. Oop. Okay, everybody made it this time. That's good. So we found a magic number of cars that can make it so far. And it is seven. Mitchell so Haddock slowly closing in on that 44 car. Haddock, one car away from getting that first career win. And he has to do it against one of the toughest drivers and most successful drivers in this entire league, Sebastian Torres. Of course, Sebastian became the first driver to win three championships in the Grand National Series. Not only that, he became the first driver to win it three times in a row. No driver has ever, ever done that, not even Cheka Whiteline, who has seven championships in her career. She has never won three championships in a row. That's how talented Sebastian is. And Haddock just drives it on in there. He does not hit the back of him. You'll have six laps to go. Nope, we got a crash. Brian Fox went out and a caution. And they did take it. Brian Fox will keep on, keep on going. He will move up to third. But the caution is out. Well, we'll take a look and see what happened to Brian Fox. Here's the cause caution. Brian Fox running in the third spot, coming up on the last turn. He's going to do like many other drivers have done so far, and wheel hops it. You see the tire spinning, and he smacks the wall just enough that the caution comes out. That's pretty much it. Depending on the damage, Fox should still be able to continue on with no problems. We'll clean this mess up, and we'll take you back to the restart. And we are back. We'll get this race restarted with three laps to go. We still have seven cars in this race. Sebastian Torres is our race leader. Second is Mitchell Haddock. Third now is Jacob Kipman. Fourth is Tyler Shellman. And fifth is Brian Fox. Brian Fox decided to come to pit road, make sure that damage was not severe. And he got four fresh tires. So I'll have to see if he can work his way back through the field. Kristen Russell is sixth, still one lap down. And the 34 car. Is still in eight, four laps down. He can only gain one more spot, and that's getting around number 36 car, Tyler Kentman. So he either. He will either get 14 or 13 points. If he finishes seventh or eighth. So it's worth one more point. He just has to ride around for the next few laps, and he will get seventh place no matter what. So that's as high as he can go. Sebastian Torres, who had a great jump on the last restart, is going to try and get it one more time. If another caution comes out, this race will be over. Twenty laps has been completed. We'll be twenty-one when we get to the line and restart. It'll be three laps to go. Because the 
the pace of the uh, the distance of a caution. It's one lap. No matter what happens at this point, if caution comes out, it will be it. So these drivers have to race like it's the last lap because technically it is. So seven drivers battling for three laps to try and see who will win the 24 hours of Spa and what could arguably, argue, arguably be one of the top two races of this season compared to the 24 hours of Le Mans. So this most likely will be it. The next flag will end the race, whether it be the yellow flag or the checkered flag. Or technically the white. There are no green white checkers here in 1955 using the rules that they had. So this is it. You can't wait for another caution. You have to go as soon as the green flag drops. Pace car pulls in. Or quite possibly the final restart. Sebastian Torres leads on the green and he was ready leads him down the hill and to turn number one and turn number two no challenge from behind just yet we'll see if Brian Fox's four fresh tires will be able to help him I guess these drivers who did not pit once again through these turns, Brian Fox has made no progress just yet. He's stuck behind two lap cars. There you see Brian Fox is making a move now. Oh, no, he tried. Trying to get Kristen Russell out of the way. Russell also did make a pit stop that last time, so he has fresh tires too. But Fox easily disposes of him. Now he's got to dispose of the 26. Of Tyler Shelman. And Brian Fox easily does. So move Brian Fox back up to fourth. Back up front. No change. Sebastian Torres has pulled away from Mitchell Haddock. They got the lap car between themselves and Jacob Kipman, who's in third. But he is quickly being approached by Brian Fox, and Fox goes to the outside. And he will easily pass the 39. Again, fresher tires. So move Byron Fox back up to where he was before the caution. He was in third. He is in third now. And now we are coming up on the danger turn. Can they make it? Smash and Torres goes wide, but he keeps it on track. So does Mitchell Haddock. Oh, he hits. Oh, the 34 smacks the wall. That's it. Caution is out. Okay, Brian Fox makes it through. Yes, he does. Up oh, the 34. Nope. Kristen Russell did not. And this is the, this is the battle for the race win. This will end the race. So Brian Fox, he will claim third. Barney keeps it on track for the final few turns. And it'll be Sebastian Torres. He's going to break the streak of first time winners. Kristen Russell lipping it back home. He had a hard hit with the 34 car. Looks like 34 will not finish seven. Not way too aggressive. There's only seven cars on track, and he got that aggressive. Into the final few turns. Sebastian Torres can take it nice and easy. No mistakes. Mr. Haddock trying to dive it on in there, but he's way too far back. And off the final turn, Sebastian Torres will lead him to the caution flag on lap number 22. And that will end the race. We'll take a look and see what brought out the race ending caution. Here's the cause of caution once again, Mitchell Haddock. He goes way wide into this turn. He comes so close to hitting the wall. 
but thankfully he avoids, and he's going to finish second place. He misses it right there. Gets dust to come up, but the 34, Aiden McAllister, nowhere to go. Nails the wall. His car is destroyed. And poor Kristen Russell. He just misjudges. He loses control. Gets in the oil that was put down. Spins out. Nails the wall. And he's going to hit the 34. And sends both cars flying. Making the 34 actually get on his roof before he lands back on all four wheels. And Chris Russell does a flip. And another flip. Before landing back on all four wheels. And that big crash ended the race. Well, we'll take you to your results. So that caution did in fact end the race. So Sebastian Torres is your race winner. Second, Mitchell Haddock. Third, Brian Fox. Fourth, Jacob Kipman. Fifth, Tyler Shellman. Sixth, Kristen Russell. Seventh, Tyler Kipman. Eighth, Aiden McAllister. Ninth, Amber Mayhew. And tenth was Doc Smith. Rest your race results. Everybody out was due to crashes and accidents. So, yep. We had only five drivers finish the race on the lead lap. Well, that is it here for the 24 hours of Spa. We will take it to Victor Lane for the first time this season with the number 44 of Sebastian Torres. Area point standings after the fourth race of the season at Spa. Tyler Kempman is our brand new points leader. He has a 12-point lead over Kyle Pestro. Third with the win is Sebastian Torres, who gained nine spots. He is 15 points behind. Fourth is Kristen Russell, 17 points behind. And fifth is Jacob Kempman, also 17 points behind as well. By virtue of Amber Mayhew finishing in the points, we now have all 34 drivers have scored at least one point this season. Well, we'll see you next for round number five for the six hours of the Nürburgring at Nürburgring. And until then, keep the hammer down, and we'll see you at the track.